Hey, here we are at Rose Show, and we've got an amazing how-to today. I'm here with Amanda. Basically, this is the fundamentals of how to blow dry. So you can work with your round brush, your flat brush. It doesn't matter. It's just a basic step-by-step how-to get through and make it look fantastic. Start off with um, the Rojo Hydro Mist. Okay, so this is like a great um, pre-blow drying product. Very lightweight, a lot of moisture, and I'm spraying it a little bit extra right on her ombre. And then I'm also going to be using the curl definer, which is a pretty great product for blow drying. It's not just for curly hair, it's also a pretty blow drying hair. Okay, so combing it through, combing the hair just down and around. So down the side, down the back, and what I'm looking for is I'm looking to see um, the root direction and which way the hair is falling. So whatever is falling on from behind, that's that's where my section's going to go. So I'm going to separate from the front and, and the back. I'm just going to stick two clips in the back here just to keep it nice and organized as I blow dry. Okay, so to start your three dry, you're going to work from the top of the head down and you're going to use a lot of tension with your hands. So by using a lot of tension and coming up with your blow dryer nozzle, you're going to smooth out the cuticle and you're going to create a lot of natural volume. Okay? Depending on the density of the hair, you're going to do three, four, typically no more than four sections are usually taken. And uh, you want to work on flattening out the root area, the first couple sections, again, depending on the density of the hair. So I'm going to come in with my brush on top, using a ceramic, the Rojo ceramic round brush. Again, the nozzle is going down the hair shaft, so it's going to smooth the cuticle down. I'm just going to spin it out, spin it with your hand, and then leave it on the root area out here again, and then I'll add a little bit more volume as I progress to the top. So 
done. And we're almost done at this point. We're almost done. That's great. So not only is it a great way to do it, but it's very efficient too. Very efficient. So now we're going to go out this way. Okay. Dropping the, uh, the root direction down again. Okay, because I don't want to make her look too bubbly. Okay. Uh, so this is going to be dropped down, and then when I get to the top, I'm going to push it back up. It's a beautiful color. You know, it's amazing that Erosia was so well known for hair cutting, but it's unbelievable to see the work that our color department does. And this color is a great example of it, how beautiful it is. So it's a bit much for me to handle, this big section. So I'm going to split it into two. Okay. A little trick that I like to do. And really just gonna finish this off any shape. Again, it doesn't make 